Hey everyone, let's uh, check out this example together. In this example, as you can see, we have a wire that carries a current of 6 amps and the current is going from left to right. Next to it, there is a loop that also carries a, a current and this current is 3 amps and the current goes into the loop like that. We know if there is a currents within the vicinity of each other, they are acting on each other by their magnetic fields with a force called call it the magnetic force on a current. Okay, so ne we need now to find the net force on the loop from this current. Okay, and let's go ahead and do that. So now to find this. Um, current on this part of the loop, so I'm going to call this 2, okay, um, and this is 1, so I'm going to say F1 on 2 is equal to I1, I2, since I'm asked to find the force on this, what I call L2, so I'm going to call it L2, and multiplied by mu naught and divided by 2 pi r, where r is the distance between this current and this current. Okay, so now we just plug in the numbers and find the value of this first. So f1 on 2 is going to be equal, that's 6 for i1, i2 is 3, l2 2, which is this part, and it's 25 centimeters, so I'm going to make it in meters, 0.25 meters. Mu naught is known as 4 pi times 10 to minus 7, okay? And that will be given to you, of course, divided by 2 times pi times r, the distance here is 0.1 meter. Now 2 pi with 4 pi remains 2, and with quick calculations in the uh, calculator you can find that F1 on 2 is equal to 9 times 10 to minus 6 Newton. And let's see where the direction is. So this one is going this way, and this one is going this way, so opposite to each other. Since it's opposite to each other, the influence of this current on this current will be pushed out. So this is the force F1 on 2, because it's going to repel it. And I'm going to put this like this, just to make sure that we know where the direction is. Now, we can find the same thing, F1 on 3. Okay, F1 on 3 is going to be equal I1. I3 is the same as I2, so I'm not going to change that. And L3, this part here, is the same as L2, so I'm not going to change that. Mu0 divided by 2 pi, and this 2 pi, this is, this, I'm, I'm going to call it just to make sure that we do not mix things up. I'm going to call this R1. Now we need to call the other one R2 because we have two different distances. That's very important. Now plug in the same numbers for everything except for R2. So I'm going to put this equals to 6 times 3 times uh, 0.25 and times 4 pi times 10 to minus 7. And that will be divided by 2 pi and uh, instead of 0.1, this distance here is 0.1 plus 0.15, which is 0.25, okay? And then you can find this force to be equal to 3.6 times 10 to minus 6 Newton. Let's see now, check out the, 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 the direction. This one is going this way, and this one is going the same direction. So it seems that F1 on 3 will be attractive this way. So this force will be this way, okay? All right, so that's good. Now we have the two forces. We need to find the net force, okay? Let's find the net force on the loop. Those, This one here, because it's going this direction, this one's going this direction, they're going to create uh, forces that are 
basically they're going to opposite, be opposite to each other and equal to each other at each point. Each point is different a little bit, but this point is exactly the same as this one, but opposite in direction. So they're going to cancel each other. So these two forces are going to cancel each other. We're going to just focus on this part and this part. Okay? And for that reason, we're going to find the net force. So I'm going to say F net. I'm going to put this to be the positive side because it's going up to the positive y direction. F12 plus F13, but it's opposite side, so it's going to be minus F13. Okay? And then the net force will be equal to uh, 9 times 10 to minus 6 minus 3.6 times 10 to minus 6. And the answer for the net force will be 5.4 times 10 to minus 6. Okay? And that's in Newton. Right. So that's the net force acting on the loop. All right. Now, what's going to happen to the loop? Let's say these wires are thin wires. Basically, if they are thin wires. This one will be will be bowed like that at the end, okay? And this one will also be bowed like this. So the loop will look something like this, like it's kind of like um, a concave lens, if you will. All right. But this force as you can see is bigger than this force that's why I drew this one is a little bit more pronounced than this one and that's it for this problem thank you